a Los Angeles man who is one of three men charged in connection with Mac Miller's 2018 overdose death has signed a guilty plea deal. Stephen Andrew Walter pleaded guilty to charges of fentanyl distribution, according to an agreement obtained by USA Today that was filed Monday to the Central District of California. Walter and his attorney William Harris signed the agreement October 22 admitting Walter knowingly distributed the narcotic to others which then made it to the hands of Miller, whose legal name is Malcolm James McCormick. In the document, which refers to the weekend rapper as M.M., attorneys say Walter instructed Ryan Michael Rivas to distribute fentanyl that was presented as oxycodone pills to Miller's dealer Cameron James Pettit. Mac Miller dead from a suspected overdose at 26. defendant knew that the pills that he directed Rivas to give to Pettit contained fentanyl or some other federally controlled substance, the agreement read. M.M. would not have died from an overdose but for the fentanyl contained in the pills that M.M. had received from Pettit on September 4, 2018. Prosecutors suggest Walter serve a 17-year prison sentence with an additional five-year supervised release in the plea agreement. Rivas and Petty have pleaded not guilty to all charges in the case. Rapper Mac Miller died from accidental overdose on fentanyl, cocaine, alcohol. The three men were initially charged by a federal grand jury in 2019 after authorities said they were responsible for giving the 26-year-old rapper several drugs including fentanyl a oxycodone, Xanax and cocaine, almost two days before Miller's overdose. Man charged in connection with Mac Miller's death allegedly sold rapper counterfeit drugs. According to the toxicology report, Miller was found unresponsive, kneeling on his bed in a praying position at his Los Angeles area home September 7, 2018 by his assistant, who called 911 and was instructed to perform CPR until paramedics arrived. Miller was pronounced dead at the scene at 11.51 a.m. PDT. Miller struggled with substance abuse, revealing his ups and downs with drug addiction in interviews and song lyrics. He rapped about his struggles with addiction on his 2014 mixtape Faces, speaking about that time in his life to Vulture in an interview published days before his death. I used to rap super openly about really dark expletive, because that's what I was experiencing at the time, he said. That's fine, that's good, that's life. It should be all the emotions. Contributing, Anna Reed.